Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda with your three losers into the maid. And let's climb up this ladder, right? We should look into a way to actually get going back to the Nexus. The report in on our tremendous success. A secure outpost. Finally. Exactly. Those remnant vaults, all those secrets. I have to go exploring in one someday. Imagine flying through one. Now that would be a real hazard course. Kalo, would you fly me through a remnant vault? Because I will love you forever if you do that. No pressure. All right, well, this this was nice. You were. He hung around in years. He had a good time. Alright, so. I should probably look through these places as well soon, but we have Nexus. We have the Nexus to wait for us. Waiting for us, even. And the Nexus. Needs our attention. Ah, familiar territory. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. Well, I have surveyed. Majority of this. I need to find some uh, where I can get some platinum. Because I am doing. Not the most in some things. So I'm gonna try a docking bay, yes. We have a lot of tasks that need to be finished here. Including did I, did I remember to bet my bike jack? Yeah, I did. I bet the bike jack. The monkey is a happy monkey. Our space pets are doing well. I wonder if we can get more space pets. I hope we can get more space pets. We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Nitty. What? That's ridiculous. Why would you say that? Please report any suspicious activities to the nearest security representative. Who was being an ass? Was it me? Was I being an ass? <gasps> oh, we can look at everyone's stats now. Veteran warrior level C. I thought you were level zero. Why were you not level late? Okay, you've got incinerate, you've got combat powers, combat passives, and your the flat cannon. Ooh. What, what are your abilities? Just out of curiosity. You got power armor and concussive sh con Yeah, that one. Cool. Give me what are your abilities? Just out of curiosity, you've got some tech and some biotics. Cool. Well, I'm still gonna be using Vetra and Track, I believe. Because Vetra is cute, and Track is a friend. What are you doing with that ship? Damn, Ryder, you just missed a good show. One of the alarms malfunctioned, and we thought it was an attack. It didn't take long to figure it out, but in that time, they managed to scramble at least half the station's defenses. 
Why are the alarms still malfunctioning? Probably a leftover issue from when the Scourge fried systems. It's not that bad. I once worked in a building with a fire alarm that would glitch every other week. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, the barracks at, uh, at my military base, they like... The fire alarms malfunctioned every time we had a sauna night, which was every night. We headed out soon? Sure. How are you doing? How may I assist? Uh, apparently. It has been my pleasure. Apparently, there's not a lot I need from you. Hi, I'm Ian Garson, founder of the initiative. Welcome to the Nexus. I think it looks like this. Not a lot I need to do here. There's several new traders, by the looks of it. There's a vehicle merchant. Hey, hi. Hello. You've got a merchant shield discharge. Ooh. I'm thinking we can we can afford these items and this item as well. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you some of my salvage in return. But yeah, I've been told that the car is worth upgrading, so that's what we're doing. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. You as well. Do you have any platinum? Show me your minerals. Do you have platinum? You do not have platinum. Very well, have a good day. Good day. Good day. Good day indeed. Sure. Let me know what materials you need and I'll find you something. Okay, we've got weapons to armor. Thanks for helping out. I owe you one. We, I don't think that's something I need to worry about right now. Hydroponics and the vortex. Oh, there's Mind Spender and there's a Cultural Center. Dr. Camden, I don't know who you are. Just when I've balanced the air mix, another Yahoo has to come wandering through. Aren't you the Pathfinder? Dr. Camden, head of hydroponic sciences. Mind the seedlings. Are you always this rude to people walking in? Only when a mistake could kill everyone on the Nexus. What do you mean? <sighs> Hydroponics is our air, food and water. A frail green line between us and oblivion. We almost lost it all during the mutiny. Now it's my responsibility. I know what surprise responsibility can be like. So I hear. Perhaps we could share our burdens. I need samples of Andromeda's plant life. Our own specimens should acclimatize to them. Bring me any plants you find. You'll have a bounty in return, and my thanks. Cool. Now we need to harvest plants. Plants. I'll see you in a bit. What's up here? So glad I went to school for this. Thanks for nothing, education. Can I scan all these plants? No. Hello, who are you? What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't for the life of me find the cause. Oh, whoa, you, you're the Pathfinder. Hey, pff, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. True, but power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Yeah, we're gonna focus on this. We're also gonna look around, see if there's people to talk to. Is this where the railway station is? No idea. 
This and drum of the cultural exchange. Why did you leave the Milky Way? <laughs> I get that question a lot. Many of us have a deep curiosity that needs to know what else is out there. Our own Milky Way is just one tiny speck in a universe full of mysteries. And speaking for myself, the thought of exploring those mysteries in Andromeda was a call to adventure I could not resist. What are you planning to do in this galaxy? Great question. I be worried about that too. I can assure you, we have no hostile intentions whatsoever. We're pilgrims who simply want to live in peace. We're eager to learn about new cultures, new ideas, and share our own with you. But we understand trust needs to be earned, no matter what galaxy you're in. And the initiative looks forward to doing just that. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to listen. On behalf of my fellow Milky Way travelers, we couldn't be more excited about what the future holds for all of us. Now we just need to bring the get over here. Hey. Scan to assess the nature of the damage. Pathfinder, I'm glad you could stop by. Pardon the dust while we set everything up. Then we watch yourself. How did you get this job? I was a sociologist in the Milky Way. While there were plenty of cultures to study, the books on them had all been written. There was nothing new I could add. So when I heard about the initiative, I signed up right away. I have no idea where she is. People, seeing how they've evolved, adapted to life's challenges, I couldn't resist. I think she's far behind me. What goes on here? The cultural center is a place where new races we've met can visit and exchange ideas. They can learn more about the Milky Way species, while we foster an air of cooperation and understanding. We're just getting everything. Have you heard anything about the cat? Unfortunately, yes. Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. I'd hope our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. Thanks. Of course, our hope is that you'll make friends in the cluster and send them our way. And when you have a second, check back with me on a favor I'd like to ask. I mean, I'm already here, so if you have... Questions, just ask away. Okay, I think what I'm looking for is supposed to be outside this particular area. You are looking at an image of the Milky Way, the original system of the colonists now arriving in Andromeda. Home to countless life forms, the Milky Way is a galaxy where friendship and peace are held in the highest regard. Those arriving in Andromeda bring with them this spirit of enlightenment. They look forward to making your acquaintance. That sounds extremely positive. Yes. Ooh, what's this? This is Ark Hyperion, one of several ships that made the long voyage from the Milky Way galaxy to Andromeda. The thousands of colonists aboard have come in peace, united by their dream of a better life in your beautiful galaxy. You need not fear their arrival. We are all citizens of the universe, eager to be your friend. Yay, friendship! This is an outpost for Milky Way colonists arriving in your galaxy. They come seeking a fresh start in Andromeda, yearning only for a land they can call home. If you encounter an outpost, feel free to drop by and say hello. Your new neighbors are eager to make friends. Don't pop by with guns. This is an image of the Citadel, considered the seat of government for many civilized races in the Milky Way galaxy. 
Here, the council deliberates on matters of state. It is a champion of the common citizen, eager to help those in need. As with all political institutions in the Milky Way, conflict is rare. Peace and cooperation are the rule of the day. Right. Oh, we're missing this one. There's quite a few things we're missing here. I'm gonna guess these are gonna fill in once we have more information on things. Sure. Okay. Turians are a highly disciplined race who value service to others. No one places personal needs ahead of the greater whole. Public works serve as a focal point of our society. We believe it's our duty to better our species. Tell me about your homeworld. Where do you come from? Turians live on a planet known as Power. The atmosphere's weak magnetic field shaped our evolution into the life form you see today. Our signature carapace, the hard exterior shell we see on Curious, is actually metal. It protects us from the intense rays of power and sun. What's Turian history like? The history of my people is proof that peace eventually wins out. Disagreements among species turn into lasting friendships. When Turians first met humans, there was a misunderstanding between us that could have had disastrous consequences. But with patience and restraint, humans and Turians eventually join together in a mutually beneficial partnership. We look forward to doing the same in Andromeda. The pleasure of meeting you has been mine. One that I hope other Turians will soon enjoy. I am quite intrigued. It would be nice if we could get a Turian treatment from the cat at some point as well. Sure. Okay. Very well. Asari are the oldest civilized race in the Milky Way galaxy. Among my people, diplomacy and cooperation are prized over war or conflict. Where do you come from? Asari come from a planet known as Thessia, which many consider the crown jewel of the Milky Way. It's a thriving world blessed with prosperity and peace, and the center of the largest economy in the galaxy. With the high concentration of element zero on Thessia, Asari evolved powerful biotic abilities. It is considered a hallmark of our species. What's Asari history like? Thousands of years ago, we played an important role in founding the Citadel Council, the seat of government for our home galaxy. In the ensuing centuries, Asari placed great value on cooperation and collaboration. Many species looked to us for leadership and guidance. Due to our lifespan, sometimes reaching 1,000 years of age, we are patient in our decisions and prefer long-term solutions over short-term gains. Farewell. We look forward to forging new bonds with our friends in Andromeda. The wisdom you share is our reward. Mm -hmm. that's, that's some good to promise things. Thanks for stopping by. I'm a Kroger. Are you interested in hearing more about my people? Okay. Where do you come from? An ugly rock called Tichanka. No sense lying. It's not a planet most people want to visit. We had predators, nasty weather, and not much else. But it gave us our identity, forced us to adapt and evolve. Everything about us is built for survival. How many species do you know that have a pair of spare lungs just in case? Or four testicles? What's Krogan history like? Since the Krogan have four balls, 
and love is stored in the vaults. That is why we all love Krogan so much. Thanks for chat. We're all looking forward to meeting our new neighbors. Or was it P that was stored in the vaults? I'm not sure. Hi, human. Hello there. I'm a human being. If you'd like to know more about my people, just ask. Tell me about humans. Okay. Good to hear. Humanity is a diverse species. You may notice different skin colors or religious beliefs among our people. Yet we don't let those differences come between us. We'd rather celebrate our diversity rather than fight over it. Where do you come from? Humans come from a planet called Earth. It's a beautiful blue world, with everything from oceans to jungles, snowy mountain peaks to deserts. It's also an oasis of biological diversity. Scientists calculate Earth contains nearly 9 million unique animal and plant species. What's human history like? Humanity is a young people compared to many of the other Milky Way races. We didn't discover spaceflight until much later. But what we lack in age, we make up for with enthusiasm and a pioneer spirit. We'd like to think we can teach our fellow travelers a few new tricks. I'm glad you stopped by. Next time you see a human, ask about ice cream. It's one of the many great things we bring to Andromeda. Wait, we have ice cream? In Andromeda? Greetings, inhabitant of Andromeda. I'm a Solarian. I'd be pleased to tell you more about my species. These VIs are so creepy. Okay. Solarians are considered one of the brightest scientific minds of the Milky Way. We're known for our quick thinking, technological savvy, and intellectual powers of deduction. Where do you come from? Solarians originate from a world known as Rakesh. It's a tropical planet covered with bushes and rainforests. As an amphibious species, we're at home in Rakesh's lush jungles. But with our technological advancements, we can adapt to nearly any environment. We look forward to studying the wonders of Andromeda and the rich diversity our galaxy has to offer. What's Solarian history like? Cooperating with the Asari, we were the second species in the Milky Way to help form a galactic government, the Citadel Council. From time to time, we also guided other species, such as the Krogan, to better channel their natural gifts towards worthy pursuits. It's our belief that the careful application of science and intellect is the key to improving the quality of life for all. It's been my pleasure. Rest assured, the people of Andromeda have nothing to fear from Solarians. Yeah. Speaking of, maybe we could get a Chinophage going for the camp. Uh, I don't know, apparently it's certainly indoors that whatever we're looking for. It's this module here. The standard Nexus computer demo designed to interface with a wide variety of systems. Something appears to have attempted to gain access to the base of the unit, exposing the severing to power cables, shorting out its power supply. And that's not what I would consider great. Ooh. Deck lab. Professor Herrick? Professor? Pathfinder, those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? I like that your lab gets the music through the walls from the vault. That's, that's cool. What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted? Yeah, I'm in. Can I use this console? Yeah, I can. Since we are, by definition, an invasive species in Andromeda, our inevitable footprint must be laid carefully and we must preserve anything we replace. The Helios Cluster presents an unexpected challenge. We arrived with seed archives and DNA banks to ensure preservation of the biodiversity of the Milky Way, but this cluster is caused by the scourge and its unique flora and fauna are driven by its turbulence. That too requires conservation. Doctor? Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? 
I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into SAM node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank SAM as well. Are you gonna hack my SAM? Don't hack my SAM. My SAM is my friend. Scan to assess the nature of the damage. And my brain. Hmm. This is a standard Nexus laboratory incubator physical damage the base has exposed came causing power fluctuations. Okay, who else have I not spoken to yet? We talked to we talked to the doctor, we talked to him. And we have the standard research center here, right? Yes. Pretty cool. We have not speaking to Chief Lucan. Hi Pathfinder. Want to hit some rocks for science? Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Good fun. Which console? Ah, the same one. Cook, 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 cool. So there's a lot of things we can do now. I assume this lab is uh, new since they were previously in the main hall of the These power just make no place. Right, right. This is inaccessible, this is inaccessible, this is inaccessible, this is inaccessible. And this these are not where I'm meant to be. Okay, well Apparently the Nexus has become a lot more to explore since we were last here, so I'm gonna continue that next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye bye.